Morning. Morning, good morning. Let's go. I have preheated the car to a desired temperature. It's nice and warm. Nice and warm. And now, after meditating and everything after keeping the luggage in the in the back we are leaving to Banff it's one and a half hours from here it is quite cold it's gonna be zero degrees it's three degrees now and let's start the journey we'll reach there at 11 20 this is in the heart of Banff town. I'll put the details in the description if you guys are interested. We'll go there, park, explore Banff, grab a bite to eat, and head over to Lake Canmore. My bad. Lake Louise and Lake Moraine. Those are the lake's name. So we'll go there. So that's the plan for today. Visit lakes, both those beautiful, gorgeous lakes and uh, explore Banff explore Canmore. We have an entire condo booked in Canmore and call it night. So that's day two. Let's start. Yeah. I'm out here on the road. You can hear it in the voice. Still get this shit off, bro. Look. The money speaking for itself. I call it fortune tell. Fire top from a bitch that work at corporate sales. Chinchilla, you shock when we skiing out at Courchevel. Breaking news, they try to kill him, but the boy prevails. I leave for tour and my niggas fucking go to jail. Preaching to the dogs by wanting more for themselves. It's weighing heavy on my moral scale. Knowing they gon' sell another citizen cane. They think they were some wells. Once we came outside Calgary, we started our first glimpse of the Rocky Mountains. As you can see, the terrain here is quite flat. And as we are moving closer and closer towards the mountains, you'll see those white peaks towards the mountainous regions so the terrain changes from flat land to mountainous canadian rockies and this was like our first glance and we were so excited so happy to you know see this yeah so the distance between calgary to banff national park is about 120 kilometers it takes roughly just over an hour to get there it's extremely close so you can go there over weekend and come back to all the people who reside in galaxy i'm sure they have I, th I think that's what they do and i also want to say that no amount of photos and videos do justice it was just an incredible incredible sight to see how the terrain changes from flat to immediately mountainous regions so if you notice closely, all of these clips, we are getting closer and closer towards the Canadian Rockies and we obviously were super enthusiastic and excited to look at these mountains up close because we don't see this every day. It's not an everyday sight. And there was such a rush of uh, dopamine and so such a pleasant feeling just looking at them and driving closer and closer to these mountains as you can see in this video. So obviously all of these shots were taken by my beautiful mom. Let me know in the comment section below how did she do? How did she film it? Good. Do you like the these shots that she's taken? Let me know in the comment section below. On the way I told my mom to feel free and play any song she likes, any language she wants, but she never did. She allowed me to play whatever song I wanted. So I continued playing some R&B, some rap, some English music. So that's that's what you hear in the background, you know, some good jam. Yeah, so you truly, truly realize how beautiful and how big and powerful mother nature is. 
and how tiny, small and insignificant us humans are just by looking at these gorgeous big mountains right it's completely surrounding us here and as you can see we are about to enter Banff that's the board right there here you see we are passing through a wildlife bridge we were so pleasantly surprised to see this I've, I've never personally seen a wildlife bridge and that's coming f ahead of us too so we we are waiting on in the lane to enter the Banff National Park We are officially entering Banff National Park. We already have a pass right here, but we're waiting to get in. There are a few cars ahead of us, and this is amazing. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, it's a very beautiful national park. We enjoyed a lot while coming. Yeah, I'm honestly blown. My mind is blown. Look at those clouds, clouds right there. There's literally clouds right next to the mountains. You can see them behind the trees. It looks like silver linings. Yeah, the clouds, they have, the mountain peaks have silver linings. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll spend about one hour in Banff town and head to Lake Louise. The shuttle at Lake Louise. Lake Louise. And that's the plan now. Definitely. We're going there. Bye. Okay. Come got a crown no more. No. I did it. Uh, and we don't yeah. gotta chase our dream no more. No. We live it. We ain't gotta cry no more. No. I did it. Uh, and we don't gotta chase our dream no more. No. We have parked the car and it's charging. There's a Tesla destination charger. It's quite slow. But we'll get, we'll try to get how much of a juice we can in, in the car. We shouldn't have any issues with the range. It seems to be fine. And now we, and that destination charger is in a hotel. And this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. If you look at this, it's completely wood. Everything is wood. And this is the hotel. It's beautiful. It's getting colder and colder. It's like zero degrees now. So we will grab a quick bite to eat, probably some ramen. And once we eat some ramen, we will leave to towards Lake Louis and hopefully arrive there by 1.30. The only thing I don't like about this hotel is this. I don't know why they have this crap. Guess what it is in the comment section. It's right there. Look at that. Seriously. Seriously, why do you need that flag here? You don't need woke, woke flags here. I mean, this is such a beautiful town, but that just puts off the entire vibe. We stepped outside, ready to explore Banff town, and I see this instead of the Canadian flag. What do you think? Comment below. Okay, we are at an Indian buffet place. This was not planned. This was completely impromptu. I wanted to go, go get some ramen, but we ended up in an Indian restaurant again. Yeah, it's very nice, Zaika restaurant. Just like yesterday. We don't want to plug them, mom. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the place. It's beautiful paintings right there.
and uh, yeah, we'll finish this, eat it, and leave to Lake Louis and uh, Lake Moraine. Looking forward to it. After eating, we are full, both my mom and I. And do I look different? It's because I am wearing a white hoodie, a BAMF hoodie. I'm officially a BAMF local. I'm no more a tourist, I'm a BAMF local now. Really loved the contrast between the white and blue. Now it's time to head over to Lake Louis, take the shuttle and go view those beautiful gorgeous lakes. Instagram account looks like the travel channel. Pyramid snapping from hearing me rapping. It happened. No obstacles because my face starts staring me past them. Those peaks. Uh, try to zoom in, mom. Try to zoom in on those peaks on the side. We are here in October. And the colors are just beautiful. Right in front. Can you see that? We started to pass through many wildlife bridge and this was one of them. Look how beautiful it looks. How considerate it is to actually build a bridge only for wildlife to pass from one side to the other. We're gonna take that shuttle now. We're gonna take the shuttle, Lake Louis, because the roads are closed. You can't take your car. We are on the bus going to Lake Louis. Oh, what do you think? Yes, yes, it's very nice, beautiful. We got an insider tip to sit on the side where the bu where the driver sits and the view is even more beautiful towards the driver's side so we're sitting. Thank you there. my dear sir. Thank and you so much. Reached Lake Louis. We are we took a few shots. It's come on beautifully. And look at this. That's the famous hotel, Fairmont Hotel, and here is the main attraction. Trust me, it looks even better in real than the video. Look at this lake. It's turquoise blue. You can boat. We're not going for boating, but it's clear. The lake, the waters are super clear. It's a glacial lake, which means the water comes from the glacier on top. That's Lake Lewis. From here, we'll take another shuttle to Lake Moraine and we'll take a few photos, show you guys the video. This has been 
breathtaking honestly for the five for for the first 30 seconds one minute it takes your breath away and i highly suggest you just sit here we've been sitting here on the bench right in front of the lake and enjoy the view without your cell phones and that's what we are doing We're walking right beside Lake Lewis. We're walking on a trail surrounding the lake. We have no idea what's gonna be on the other end, but we'll go and see. My mom is also walking with me, so let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're walking on this trail right next to the lake. I don't know what's going to be towards the other side. I do have my tripod with me. And I'm going to turn this off. Going to lake number two, Moraine Lake. We are at Lake Moraine now. There's not much sun, so the lake doesn't appear to be blue and turquoise, blue and green turquoise. It's still beautiful nonetheless with those peaks in the back. There's a few people around too. What do you think of the lake, Mo? Very beautiful and very cold now. It's getting cold. Yeah. It's getting cold. This uh, rock pile, literally rock pile right there. And you have logs of wood which get settled down right there. And that happens because of avalanche. All the logs get run down and when, when, when there's an avalanche and the lake is frozen in the winter and when it melts in summer all the logs are pushed towards the side of the lake and they are pushed in the end and that's what we are sitting on a log too we're sitting on a log I'm on the rock pile trail. My mom is, my mom didn't come with me. She's waiting for me below the trail. And I'm just admiring the beauty of this Moraine Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous. Complete blue, turquoise, greenish. And if you look from, from the top, it looks like a wolf. That's what I'm told. Stunning, stunning. I won't stay here for long. I'll go back. I don't want to live my, leave my mom alone for long. But this is absolutely gorgeous. If you come to Le Moraine Lake, you must take the rock pile trail. It's a very short trail, 350 meters in distance and 50 meter in elevation. Very short. All right. See you guys later. We'll be heading back to the car and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so we have stopped in the middle of nowhere and 
there shouldn't be any light there is aurora boreal is going on right now we are super lucky to have this and obviously you guys can't see it but i'll try to film without the flashlight now We are on our way to Canmore and right now this Aurora Boreal is going on. You guys, I'll show you guys the video. I've taken amazing photos as well and I'll show you all of them now. Such a unique environment and scene that's happening under the Aurora Borealis. We are driving in Banff National Park. There couldn't be a better time. It's almost like God has given us His gift with the Aurora Borealis. It's it's a perfect time for us for a mother-son trip. That's about it. Good night. I was certainly excited looking at Aurora Borealis for the first time in my life. So we drove for a little bit and after driving we found a secluded spot somewhere on one of the side roads and here's a clip I took of even better shots of Aurora Borealis as you can see beautiful beautiful rainbow colors in the sky and the reason why the shot is much better than previous ones is because the sun had gone down completely and there was no light it was completely dark to be honest guys on camera it looks great like this but to the naked eye you don't see a wide spectrum like you see on camera you see very light and uh, dull colors in the sky okay so it's my it's my mother's first time tesla supercharger experience so how do you do this mom you just pull this pull this and you press the button here mom you press the button and it opens and you push this in and it's charging now it's charging now so that's my mom's first time tesla supercharging experience so well, she did get confused. Then the hotel where we charged at the other place, that was not a supercharger. They, that's just a regular uh, small tiny charger which is for homes. The are actually charge Kerala. This is a supercharger now. It charges very quickly. Yeah, and you can hear that noise. And it's also charging there. You can see that. Yeah, but uh, if you guys uh, haven't use the Tesla. There's also a Tesla video coming up on our channel about, I talk about um, all the uh, differences between a gasoline car and a Tesla and my my feedback and my review of a Tesla. So make sure to look into that video as well once it comes out. And um, so day two, this is how we spent our day two. We will go check into our Airbnb in Canmore. It's five minutes away from here. And uh, that we'll call it a night. We'll see you guys for day three tomorrow. Bye. Arrived to our Airbnb here in Canmore. And this is the hallway, as you can see. Let's go inside now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just gonna lock this. That's locked. So this is our new home for the next two nights. My mom loves it. Don't you, mom? Yes. She loves it. So this is the kitchen, fully furnished, fully equipped kitchen. It has everything you need, including a gas stove which you don't find a lot here in Canada. You find mostly induction and you find 
a lot of coffee here. My mom loves coffee, so this is gonna be good for her. And there's also a lot of spice mix, mom. And these wardrobes looks good, looks great, looks amazing. Some shots. It's a massive, massive fridge. And here's a living room, a dining table, you know, a massive mirror, just to look at ourselves. <laughs> so this is a massive mirror. We walk in. It's a beautiful fireplace here and a bear. There's literally a bear. And that is the Kennedy Rockies. More Kennedy Rockies. Beautiful, beautiful. This looks like an actual, oh, it's, a, it's not a painting, but it looks like a print. And we have more, more mirrors here, more prints here. They look amazing. And as soon as we walk, we have some closets, which is open closets. Here is the first bedroom and the only bedroom, I believe. It's really big. I don't know if you get it. You have more paintings, more prints. They look beautiful. This is a massive, massive king size bed. And here you have the Canadian Rockies there again. You have a view. We are in Spring Creek. It's a, I feel like this is a locked, what do you call it? This is a, a gated community of, of sort. This is like a gated community. Anyways, so we have more closet space here. That's good. More closet space. Nice lamp. We have a good bathroom. Bathroom with a big, big shower. It's very clean. Love the fact that it's all clean. And here we have laundry. Laundry. So that's the Airbnb tour. There is also Bose speaker. Amazing. Thank you. What a great host. There's Bose speaker, coffee, spices. And inside this massive fridge, you have water bottles. What a kind host. Oh, I also didn't show you guys. We also have a bottle of white wine and a National Park pass. Wonderful. And that is me. That's the Airbnb tour. I hope you guys liked it. We are gonna call off a night now and we will, I'll see you guys for day three of our mother and son trip. Day three. This was day two. Hi. All right. Good night.